Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 36-year-old patient with a new onset of a seizure disorder. We see here this minor abnormality between the lateral ventricles. We see a cavum septum pellucidum at Vergay. The ventricles are normal in size. They did not have any mass. There's no white matter disease, but we did notice one thing on this view here. As we come up here, we see that there's a cleft-like defect here on the outside. And so first you say, wait a minute, is this a schizencephaly? Is this a, a cleft that comes down to the ventricle? But if we look really closely here, the ventricle is tinted outwards a little bit, but there is no communication between this outside and inside. There's no full thickness cleft here. So a closed lip schizencephalic cleft would be a linear band that comes all the way down definitely to the ventricle. The open lip would be a big more wide one where you can see fluid clearly communicating but again there's no communication so this is not schizencephaly though at first it does look like it. Especially here on the sagittal view you see this cleft like defect out here. Here's the flare sequence and we can see here the gray matter is nice and thin, ribbon-like around the periphery. And right here, the gray matter is really thick. It's normal in signal, but it's way, way too thick. And it looks like they, there are less folds. So this is polymicrogyria, where you have thick gray matter, less folds. And the underlying white matter here is really, really thin as well. And so for sure, this is the cause of their new onset or seizure disorder. It's interesting that they never had seizures their whole life till age 36 here. But there are no other abnormalities. And again, this is a neuronal migration abnormality along with like schizencephaly or gray matter heterotopias. This is called polymicrogyria where the uh, cortex is really thick, can be disorganized. They have too few folds macroscopically here. Instead of a bunch of folds here, it looks like there's one big thick rind here. And again, this does not come down to the ventricle, so it's not a schizencephalic cleft like originally we thought it might be. So thank you very much.